Hey guys, this is Early Life. Early Life! Today we're doing a legendary Apple versus Android. That's already a credit yeah. towards Apple because it is coming first. Today I have my guest here, Calvin. Calvin. And we're just going to be talking about Apple and Android. So Kenny, I guess you take the side of Android and, you know, of course. Samsung and I take the side of Apple. First of all, I just want to say it's sad that they have to have updates for Apple to get multitasking where on Samsung you already have that capability. Well, technically we had multitasking before. Not technically. It's called still... tapping that home button. Still, we can literally multitask and have two things up at once on the screen. Huh. Point one for Android. Anyway, so to get to our basic thing that we're talking about today is we're going to do like a tally chart of yep. what the Apple's best at and what the Android's best at. Design. Let me just say, I think that the uh, Apple iPhone, of course, the whole, you know, setup and uh, the iPods, iPhones, iPads, of course, they're great. I like to say the iOS 7. Um, it's just, it's very cool. So goes that. You know, you got the uh, 3D images kind of thing they have on there where you can move it, uh, even apps. But it's so, uh, you know, it's pretty simple. All they do is move your background, but it looks like your entire app, all your apps are on. That's pretty cool. Um, so it's kind of like your phone's live almost. You know, it's just, it's, it's that cool. But it's like, you really can see the whole new universe is working. Android, on the other hand, it's much better than Apple because, yes, you still got that one button home press thing to take you home, but you can actually go to like this menu category. Your home screen is not just a list of apps. You have open apps on your phone already, so the design of the Android is much more cooler than the Apple and better to use. Actually, that was the iOS 7 design. I like it. Uh, my... Uh, point one for Android. Like Moving on to the next time. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to finish it. I'm going to give you that point. <laughs> gaming. Okay. We'll start with Android this time. Android. Gaming. And... Sorry, Android. You already lose this one. I say this because you don't see many Android type Play Store apps, that's what they call it, being popular at school or around. Most of the cool apps come from Apple and that's just hands down. Androids, it, though it has really good graphics and if you get the good games, it is amazing to play games on, but most cool apps come on Apple. Sorry, Android. All right, Apple. Oh, uh, like you said, pretty much all the great apps are on. Multitasking capability, Android wins. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, also, <laughs> for the people, and what this means is that which device you see among the people most. Starting out with Android, you see mostly business people having Androids because they're just good business phones to have. You can do much more things with Android that you can't do with Apple. Android allows you to like go into the root of the phone, the root of the phone, and change things up and do computer stuff. Apple, on the other hand, you have to, it just doesn't let you do that stuff. So. But if the lock yeah. button was to lock, uh, break right now on uh, an Android, iPhone. on an Android, but okay. no, no, I doubt screen. if they'll be able to lock their screen. Yep, so nice. Nice. But with us, um, I've seen people with a lock, uh, lock button, they not work anymore. They can just hit that uh, sit and touch on, lock the screen on. But uh, I haven't seen any Androids breaking their home button or power button. Well, actually, let me, just say, let me just say, it's not our fault. There are Samsung people like that too, but it's because OtterBox, okay, OtterBox, they mess up the, the lock button, so a little, you know, tip there. If you have OtterBox, you can like, break it right now because I'm going to throw that thing in Yeah, though oh, OtterBox are very, uh, OtterBox is a very protected. They are taking over. The world, Samsung, Apple, everybody. Anyway, Next so uh, like I said, point one for one Android. For Apple. Uh, and um, neither one pretty much wins. So it's basically just like Androids for business people. And if you want a business phone and look professional, get an Android. And, and you could do much. Us. You could do much more with uh, Android stuff. And you could be professional and multitask. <coughs> Apple. You're getting a pretty much a small iPad. Games, music, and la-di-da social network selfie type 
it comes to things that you want something that's going to hold your stuff, keep it safe, and uh, your personal things, that you stick with Apple. So uh, I'm Calvin from Color and Anderson. It's up on YouTube, the Color and Anderson Show. So this has been our day life, and it did not lose any contest in the video. I'll go to bed. Go to bed. Eat a little bit. When it comes to multiplayer, okay, there we go. That's fit. We <laughs> cut that. Alright, when it comes to multiplayer, <laughs> Apple Pass on Samsung phones, but I think now it's, it it's better to have it on because you're able to do more things, I think. Especially same when it comes stuff. to multiplayer. Same stuff. This is the same game. Nah, anyway, it's multiplayer. <laughs> cut that, anyway.